Hello there, my name is Alexander Moroz and today guys I decided to share with you uh, my upgrade in for 2012 and as you know or for those who doesn't know I did have for 2010 I did have a Gigabyte Ultra Durable 3 motherboard UD3R which is I think the best motherboard for uh, I would say socket X50 I mean socket uh, 1366 X58 chipset I did have i7-930 processor which was overclocked and I did have a Venomous X by thermal right heatsink and cooler with some cooler master um, 90 SVM uh, 19 dBA uh, 2 red fans on it okay but sorry about that probably uh, it's a little bit cold in here it's a winter but I'm going to replace this uh, with the new setup by the way in my new guide uh, overclocking uh, processor socket uh, L1366 on the chipset X58 I will be reviewing how to Overclock i7 920, 930, 950, 960, uh, and uh, on the motherboard on the uh, chipset X58. This setup was excellent setup. It was a great setup, and uh, especially um, it was on the stock cooler. I didn't try the Venomous X yet because I was lazy. I, I think I'm not sure what what's going on was doing videos and programming and probably was a little bit too lazy I've gotta fix this in 2012 but on the stock cooler I was running 930 um, i7 at 3.6 gigahertz with the great temperatures like 87 maximum loaded and prime 85 and it was great setup and I know this setup 930 I already built for some of my friend will go to 4.2 so this upgrade also, I purchased the Cooler Master half 932 with that upgrade in 2010. Then I purchased the OCZ 6 um, gigabytes in triple channel in 2010. But then those mem uh, that memory was replaced with uh, G Skill 1333. KS7, uh, this memory is KS8, 1600, but that was KS7, 1333 me megahertz and uh, 16 gigs. I just replaced it like one month ago. And uh, this system also, I have the Blu ray burner, DVD burner, a uh, bunch of hard drives, and two radions one uh, gigabyte radion uh, super overclocked edition 5771 uh, GDDR5 and another one is radion by Sapphire 5751 GDDR5 uh, one gigabyte and it was running crossfire well this setup will go to my friend very cheap one of my best old friends and I uh, sold it to him very cheap and see he's so happy he's still going to have a great power and uh, it's going to run a at least 3.6 on his system or 4 gigahertz which is great for i7-934 core processors with 8 visual cores uh, virtual cores on windows it's still great power even still today especially when it's running at 4.0 gigahertz or 4.2 gigahertz it's uh, I would say can beat anything today on the market uh, in 2011 December at stock speeds Okay, let me show you what I got instead for myself, which is going to be uh, the best in my choice, money uh, versus performance. This is going to be my memory, and uh, this is going to be the processor, the new processor. And, uh, This is going to be the motherboard. Okay, and as you can see, I got myself P67 Professional um, 
Vitality S Rock motherboard, which is premium motherboard. And why I grab myself P67 instead of Z68? Because $100 difference, and this P67 is cheaper by $100. And uh, in between the P67 and Z68 chipset, there is no difference. The only one difference is that Z68 has uh, built-in uh, video on it you can use and uh, has the PCI-X 3.0 revision um, so you can use those cards but you cannot actually use that cards those motherboard are absolute why because uh, Sandy Bridge processors which is i7 uh, 2000 series or i5 2000 series does not have ability or, or support on it of PCI Express 3.0 revision it means that any card which will come in the future 2012 PCI X 3.0 will only run in 2.0 mode so actually Z68 is not going to work it's just waste of money and marketing bull and Intel just decided they're not going to re uh, release any processors new processors on a P67 or Z68 which will support 3.0 PCI Express so this is what you gotta do go grab yourself P67 premium motherboard and I suggest you Fatality because my goal is professional series also because performance only have one uh, card you can install in performance you can install two and they claim three in Crossfire but I'm not sure we will see it also another video will come very interested video when I'm going to test Radeon uh, 6750s dual of them in Crossfire let you know the performance as well Radeon 6750 uh, dual 2x uh, plus the uh, one Radeon 5750 that I have by Sapphire right now and also mix it with the 5770 like in uh, triple Crossfire and let's see if it's going to work for you it's going to be nice to see and as well as what is the performance okay so this is the best because this board will easy go to 5 gigahertz it's set uh, to go there easy if your chip is supported oh wait wait hold on is this i7-2600K well this is not for the people who is intelligent or who is the overclockers and looking the best performance for the buck this is bad this is bad guy right here this is the guy we want this is the guy we want what's the difference is i7k has the silver band in it and non-k doesn't have no silver band the difference is this i7 bad boy can go at least 4.6 gigahertz on a nice board and this non-k version can go only to 3.8 so if i will replace just non-k version with my i7-930 I'm a brainless because i7-930 can go up to 4.2 it's even more overclockable than i7-2600 non-k I want to have a K this guy right here and uh, to overclock it my goal is 4.8 at least uh, that's my goal that's why I'm buying this or I would like to see 5 gigahertz but um, I won't be so unhappy with 4.8 but so want to see 5 gigahertz i7 that's why i purchased this setup that's why i uh, it was my dream to place them my hand on 2600k okay and i will pull it with a binomials x by thermal right which was the best heat sink on air in 2010 on performance it's overperforming corsair h50 easily uh, water cooling setup so but it's air and i don't trust too much water cooling because water and electricity I do, do, doesn't want to mix that at all it doesn't want to make any fire I would like to play it safe okay so yeah my goal is 4.8 at least and hopefully 5 gigahertz with the SROC fatality fatality the guy that played quake 3 and quake 4 in 2001 and till 2005 and he was the champions big champions he won even one do, one million dollars in Dallas and uh, I almost faced this guy in Quake 3 uh, Arena game uh, when uh, AMD released their six, first 64-bit processors 
was P4 times and AMD 64-bit first processors. Intel didn't have at that time yet 64-bit processors. It was Hammer processors by AMD. Hammer uh, code name it was amazing time, and I played in Colorado in Quake 3 in a tournament where 15,000 people played and uh, PC, I believe PC Club that time uh, uh, store, uh, hardware store, computer hardware store and it was second, I lost in the final so who win the final, they were getting to the Dallas and playing the Quake 3 for big money and uh, Fatality won the tournament, I believe so I, uh, I would face this guy for sure uh, but I didn't, I didn't. But anyways, here's his motherboard, and uh, I'm a fan. I also have the headphones of the Fatality, and uh, I also bought the headphones for my cousin in Ukraine, Perovet. So Fatality, I'm a supporter. Okay, and the old schooler as you are. So yeah, here we go. Everything else will be just the same. Half 9:32, and I will show you the video before my system on i7 930 and after with the i7 2600K version, K, okay, not this guy. This is just waste of money. If you have money for this guy, grab yourself i5 2500K. It can overclock up to 3.8 easily, and um, i5 2500K will overperform i7 uh, 2609K version anytime when it's overclocked, okay? So it's better to go if you have that money with i5 2500K and you will receive better money versus performance. But this is my dream. I got myself K version, which is the best. And in 2010, it's the best when it's overclocked to 5 gigahertz. Nothing can touch it at stock in 2011. Uh, this is the best chip. It's overclockable, uh, highly overclockable chip. And I believe in Intel history, this is the second chip which is the best for the performance ever built. The first one was E6300 um, uh, uh, Core to Duo, which from 1.8 was overclockable to 3.6, 100% overclock, easy, on air. And this is second on the performance in the Intel uh, store history, and it's highly overclockable and highly uh, high performance chip okay this is why I got it well thank you so much guys for watching this is upgrade for my people for my subscribers as again you know, I'm just not uh, breaking around I'm just trying to show you and share the experience with you guys especially for those who is looking and want to see uh, my system for 2011 2012 this is the best build in 2011 2012 before Intel will re release 3750 case processors okay and 3700 uh, case processors. This is going to be the best build for the bug. And you don't want to go with 6, Z68 just because the PCI X 3.0, because the PCI 3.0 not going to revision, not going to work at all with Sandy Bridge processors. And even with the new uh, 3700 case processors. So you're not going to win anything. Uh, it's just a marketing bull and you want to get yourself a premium board P67 and I decided to go with the Fatality Astrock because it has the golden um, high caps from Japan which at least I checked this uh, around on the websites at least can go for 10 years under heavy load and uh, 18 years in office work and I believe on the heavy overclock it will go at least seven, eight years, which is more than enough. Okay? And tutorial how to overclock i7 2600K and overclock any processor and the socket K versions on the socket 1155. It's a socket 1155 P67 and Z68 chipsets. It's coming from me as well, so I'm going to release two tutorials as well. Uh, how to overclock socket 1366 as again and socket 1155. And I'm going to uh, stay with all my hardware, which is car power supply, 750 watt modular, uh, silver grade, professional. Car supplies are the best. If you buying a stable system and overclocking a lot, like me, like extreme, you want to grab yourself a car power supply. This is going to be my setup. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys. Please subscribe.
thumbs up for more video tutorials and reviews subscribe for uh, more great videos from me and my videos is educational not time wasting I'm trying to do my best for this is again my name is Alexander Moroz and peace out